Hey, Saggies, welcome into the channel. Uh, I just started this baby, so um, if you're finding this by random hap chance and you clicked on the video, what are the chances of you being in mine? Um, so, welcome, welcome. Um, I'm going to do a monthly reading for you for the month of February. We'll start by pulling a court card and see how you're showing up for the month. The Page of Wands, okay. Working through some ideas. Planning your next steps. Planning your next move. Um, seeing the potential of a situation. And, and here the Page of Wands talks about rooting your ideas in reality. That's when we talk about what are the next steps that you want to take. What are these plans? What are these ideas? The tarot will tell all. What is the opportunity for Sagittarius in the month of February? The world. The world is the card of recycling, as in something is ending and at the same time being renewed. Not like the death card where there's like some sort of transformation that keeps you going. This is the end of an era, as in no looking back. So this is something worth pondering and thinking about before you cross that threshold, you're going to want to know or have some level of certainty around this thing that you want to do. It is a big, big deal. And you're just at the very beginning, I think, of um, trying to put these pieces together in terms of how will you cross this threshold and end up where you want to be. What is the challenge for the Page of Wands? Eight of Wands. The challenge for you, Sagittarius, this month is that it might happen very quickly. The challenge might be is also, a, um, this is a message. So maybe you will get a message, a call, a calling, a heralding to say, come to the other side. And you're like, but I'm not ready. Okay. There's only so much you can theorize, philosophize, and think about the thing that ultimately will have to result in your action. Okay, so this is the message that I'm getting is the challenge is taking action. When are you going to do it? When are you going to take that leap of faith and trust yourself enough to execute Sagittarius? Show me what it is that Sagittarius really wants this month. Justice. Libra, balance. You want to do this in a way that feels secure, stable, steady, flow. Balanced. Uh, justice is also truth. So how do we think about, you know, uh, maybe something that's holding you back is um, wanting to do things in a very authentic way. As in knowing that you're doing them for the right reasons. Um, knowing and understanding and deeply connecting your ideas to your root, right? When we talk about ideas rooted in reality, we can also think about this, how our desires need to be rooted into our inner selves, as in we feel deeply connected to them, like, yes, I'm validating that this is what I want. So in that case, there's maybe a little bit of indecision here, weighing um, the weighing of the scales, seeing is this going to be worth it or not? What is the foundation of the Page of Wands? Sorry, foundation of um, for Sagittarius right here in the month of February. The Ace of Swords. Damn. Truth. Clarity. Okay, so you know that something needs to change. You know that something is ending. And you're trying to take advantage of this ending by trying to predict where you're going to land. Like a cat on its feet. Sometimes we just don't know where though. Okay, Sag, and I really feel like my, my tone has changed than most of my other videos because um, I feel like I'm talking to somebody that I know. Sometimes you just don't know where you're going to end up. And that's okay. You... There's never going to be the right moment to take a leap of faith. 
I think that you know that. And if you've had an Ace of Swords moment, as in clarity or aha, like you just know that this is going to happen for you anyway. So uh, the challenge here is, I think, thinking about when this is going to happen. When are you going to take action? I wonder if the tower is going to show up because sometimes when we don't take action, the tower shows up and, and the universe guides us back onto our path and does like this course correction or says you waited too long so i made the decision for you <laughs> i don't know if it'll show up we'll see uh let's look at the past the knight of wands hmm. maybe you did take action in the past and it didn't work out the way you wanted because I see, um, basically, you sort of went backwards. You went just in a certain direction, and then maybe you got cold feet, and you said, hold on a second. No, I don't want to do that. That makes sense. So there was some sort of clarity. You're like, I'm going to take action. And now you're back at, but hold on a second. Let me think about this. Let me do this the right way. Uh, potential outcome. Page of Swords. Hmm, another message. Also the hero of the deck. As in the Page of Swords is the energy that annihilates the tower, essentially. The Page of Swords is sort of like this uh, sort of naive youthful sort of like but I know what it takes to do this and it's almost like that young spirit that that spirit is like you can slay any dragon that's the kind of confidence honestly that you need to move past this threshold Sag well I wonder if the tower card's gonna show up Everything's sort of pointing to that. Let's see here. Uh, we'll pull a few more cards. The Chariot. Okay, you're going to go for it. Page of Cups. Something unexpected. Uh, the Magician and the Six of Swords. Wow. Okay, I see you doing it. I see you taking that leap. Even though you don't know what's expected you're showing up as i'm gonna get you know the chariot is like going forward but it's vulnerability you're like you're going to have to be okay with not knowing um there's going to be always this some some element of unknown and this is a, a new beginning for you three pages you're the page of wands we have the Page of Swords and the Page of Cups. Uh, we also have the Magician, right? This manifesting power. You are creating your reality. It's almost as if you course corrected yourself and now you, you know and, and your uh, trajectory is set. Sagittarius, I don't know if maybe you're going to do the same thing again, you know, um, after some time and, and you know, be the knight of wands and go back to the drawing board when something becomes too unfamiliar um i think that's why the, the eight of wands is your challenge card is to say follow through with that instinct uh follow through with this message of um it's almost like rip off the band-aid of it but I don't think that's the case because, again, the chariot is showing up here. And that is definitely a more graduated, higher level energy than the Knight of Wands. Definitely. Uh, so then the outcome here as the Six of Swords, transition, moving, finally making the transition. Taking the opportunity for um, 
having a new beginning somewhere else, moving. You might be literally moving somewhere in the month of February or simply deciding to move somewhere. Uh, let me see more about the Six of Swords. Oh, wow. I see uh, the Three of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. So, I definitely feel like I'm resonating with, with somebody here very specifically. It's almost like you're moving toward um, community or collaboration, like a... a a family, maybe family community. Um, I also have the message of three here. The number three is significant somehow. And the ten of pentacles, this like family legacy heritage, like it's like going back home. <laughs> and I say home because also the nine of swords is like, again, another message card, like something about that. But um, it's nine of swords is anxiety and like what brings us more anxiety than like when we ha when we go back to the places that we're from it like unearths a lot of feelings it unearths a lot of um, things about ourselves it does bring us back into like wow this place really did make me and I feel like you've been somewhere else for a while and now this is like a homecoming clarity understanding something about yourself and if this isn't a physical moving then just know that this element is here of um, having sled and clarity of understanding how the places that made you um, the places or the beliefs or just like how you were raised and the people who raised you um, have made you into the person you are today good and bad, all of the good and bad things in, in, in how you uh, process information, how you make decisions, um, how you create the things that you want, um, how you um, desire things, like, and the things that you desire are all connected to this. So in the, in the, in the foundation, right, this clarity, this aha, I think you're exploring that. I think you're exploring that so that beyond this threshold, you are in a more empowered place um, and in a place that feels like you are doing yourself justice, as in um, really going for the things that you want in life. And I think I went on a little bit of a rant, the same rant about what I'm about to say in another reading. It might have been Libra. Uh, but just this idea of like like versus want it's not enough to say we want something but to say that we like it as in do you like that you want this thing want is connected to our triggers right we want something usually um, to get us closer to a sense of comfort or um, to nurture something, nurture, I don't know, nurture to like pacify, want is pass, pacifying something, like is feeding something, feeding the soul, it's that fire, I like this, I want to keep doing it, so when I say you're going for the things that you want in life, what I'm really wanting to say and express is that you're finding and connecting to that fire that is your like that is your passion your desire that you like to be doing and part of that is identifying what is it that you like and what is it that you don't like once you answer that um, and the answers you find might be unexpected I think you should follow that instinct that clarity whatever comes in that clarity um, as as weird or far out 
as it may seem, I think you should just go for it because all of the cards are really pointing to that message. You have a very strong uh, movement and mobilizing sort of cards. The Chariot, um, Justice, Ace of Swords, Knight of Wands, Six of Swords, Page of Swords. Like, And yeah, so you have three pages here. A lot of fresh energy. It's a new beginning for Sagis um, in some element of your life. Well, Saggies, that's what I got for you this month, so I hope that it helps, um, and I hope to see you on the next video.